क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस टॉपिक वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द फिजिकल ट्रेंड्स इन ग्रुप 17 एलिमेंट्स एंड नाउ इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट ऑफ ग्रुप 17 एलिमेंट्स सो व्हाट आर द कॉमन ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट ऑफ ग्रुप 17 एलिमेंट्स इवन दिस इज व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इन दिस टॉपिक सो नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दिस वन So friends, as we have discussed earlier, that is the electronic configuration of fluorine. So for that, let me give you an example related to that. So, so now let me give you an example related to that, so that we could understand what would be the oxidation state of the halogen family. For example, if I am talking about that is fluorine, which has an atomic number of that is nine. So therefore, we could write the electronic configuration as one s two, two s two, two p five. So we talk about the orbitals. Then in that case, we'll get to know that is it consists of s subshell, it consists of p subshell, and for that we have that is two electrons in the s orbital and five electrons. That is one, two, three, four, five. Five electrons in this p subshell and having that is one unpaired electron. So now this has basically five electrons in this p shell, but only it needs one electron, and because of this achievement of one electrons, this fluorine can be acting like a noble gas. Therefore, it is in a very much need of an one electron. So that's the reason that if we talk about the fluorine, then the oxidation state of fluorine is being found to be that is always minus one. But this. Achievement of a complete octet can be also be done not only by taking electrons but also combining this electrons with the other electrons so as to form that is a covalent bond or an ionic bond. So even that it can achieve a complete octet. But the thing is, fluorine is such an electron negative element that is always the oxidation state of fluorine is minus one and it can't be positive because there is no other element which is more electron negative compared to that of the fluorine. So suppose if we consider a particular halogen atom, which is in fact electronegative, and suppose if it is been combined with the other element, which is more electronegative compared to that of the element of the halogen atom, then we could say that is the oxidation number of that particular halogen atom could be turned into a positive. But the thing is, if you talk about fluorine, it is always negative. That is minus one in this case. So this was related to fluorine, and now let me talk about the other example. So friends, suppose if I am considering an example of chlorine, that is Cl17. That is, this is nothing but the atomic number. So therefore, we could write the electronic configuration as 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5. And since there is no electrons in the d orbital, or we could say there is a possibility of d orbitals and uh, d subshell also, but the thing is there is no electron in that. But if we compare about the s orbital and that is the p orbitals, and this is the empty d subshell which has basically five orbitals, which is I am mentioning over here. So if we compare this s and p, then in that case we'll get to know that is this s orbital will consist of one that is lone pair of electron. While talking about this p, it will have one. Two lone pair of electron, while one electron that is is been left because this is known as unpaired electron, and because of which this electron can be easily accepting one of the electron if this chlorine atom is been combined to the other element, which is less negative, which is less electron negative compared to that of fluorine. So in that case, the chlorine will achieve the oxidation state of minus one. For example, if you talk about that is HCl, in that case hydrogen is electropositive, and that's the reason that the chlorine will Have an oxidation state of minus one, but suppose if we compare this chlorine with the other electronegative element, suppose if the other element that is I am concerned of, which is more electronegative compared to that of chlorine, so in that case the oxidation state of the chlorine will be turned into plus one. But let me discuss about the other points also. So because of this unpaired electron, the oxidation state Of this chlorine is minus one because it has the capacity to take one electron, and so as to fulfill the complete octet. But this electron, which is basically paired, even this electron can be excited to the d orbital, and that's the reason that we could find the unpaired electrons. It would be now it is one. Now it will be turned into that is three. 
So this is what I want to discuss. That is, this electron has been excited to D orbital, and this is how there will be only one electron over here, and one electron will get shifted to D orbital, and this lone pair electron it will be as it is. So this is how basically we can obtain or we can achieve a condition where we can obtain that is three unpaired electrons and because of which the oxidation number of this it would result into that is plus three. I suppose if we excite this electron to this orbital obviously the number of electrons that would be left out as an unpaired electron so therefore it is one two three four and here it will be five so therefore we could say there will be also possibility of plus five oxidation state and suppose if we have excite this electron over here and even this electron over d orbital then in that case we could get the condition where we can achieve that is this s orbital will consist of only one electron this p orbitals that is what i am mentioning here about it will have basically three unpaired electrons and okay about the d orbital this d orbital this is what i am mentioning here it will also consist of basically two unpaired electrons making it to be having that is one two three four five six and one electron it will get excited over here and now we have the oxidation state which is found to be that is plus seven so this is what the common oxidation state of that is from chlorine to iodine is and talking about the rest of the things suppose if we talk about that is plus four and plus six oxidation state so even they can exist but they exist in the form of oxy acids of chlorine and bromine so in that case we'll get that is plus four as well as plus six oxidation state so for a while that's it so this is what i want to discuss about the oxidation state of the halogen family and thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe channel. thank you so much